sure from the other paper, we saw so many other audit reports that have been made to the table. How can we just be getting these reports? Then they are not debated. And we are saying we are fighting corruption. So what is wrong? Sooner or later, in 2019, all these reports will be here. So what are you going to say, Mr. Speaker? We do not have uh, a resolution at this moment, Mr. Speaker, because uh, we are in a new session. Uh, that that uh, motion was moved during the last session and it has elapsed. We are in a different session. We cannot go by that. Uh, yeah. It was it was in the last session. But Mr. Speaker, let me go. Naso, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, we say we are the Chairman for the Public Accounts Committee at the Salon Parliament, Honorable Singapore Solomon Thomas, being respond to one concern by the Paramount Chief MP for Tonkolili District, PC by Kur Kanagbarusan Kadi Todd, for sake of the audit report them from 2016, 17, and 18, where he say the Salon Parliament not look inside it but get responsibility for look inside. This now because Honorable Ibrahim Tawakon been don't give notice of motion at the last session of parliament say he want to make parliament debate the auditor general report them from 2016 to 2017 but as you hear honorable Singapore solomon thomas with the chair of the public account committee at the salon parliament say the motion by honorable ibrahim tawa conte been don't expire as he been give this notice of motion at the last session of parliament and this na new one based on that I wish to move a motion, sir. I wish to move a motion that consistent with section 119, subsection 5 of the 1991 Constitution, that this House, this House should debate, should set aside a day to debate the previous two Auditor General's reports, and then we make it a habit that, yes, a month or two after subsequent reports are presented, this, and the PAC has done its work. This house should debate the next audit report as well. Yes, Mr. Speaker, yes. I hope there's already... This make the leader of the National Grand Coalition, NGC Partner at the Salon Parliament, Honorable Dr. Kande Koleyum Kela, rise to the occasion and give notice of motion, say he want to make Parliament debate the 2016, 17, and 18 Auditor General report them and carry on for explain why this is important. Mr. Speaker, I wanted to put it on that context. Earlier today, we all admonished the new appointees. And we said we want to make sure that 2020 indeed is the year of delivery. But we also, those who are also who took the floor, predicated it by saying we also want to make sure performance is done. Part of that review means to help the executive, as I said, six, five, six hundred people appointed in parastatus. Part of our Auditor General's report usually highlights recommendations. If we implement those, and in the past, the Auditor General showed that only 20%, 20% of her recommendations are implemented by the NDAs. So what crisis do we have? You have a new government. You have well-intentioned people, but the machinery that they're operating is broken. The leader of NGC go before for say a fine for make MP them pay more attention for look inside the recommendation them where the auditor general can give inside an audit report them because he say this will help good fasting for make government able for fair corruption and same way so no outside challenge the inside governance and correct them one them. There are leakages. So when we talk about fighting corruption and that's the position of my party. We must deal real time. Let us not wait two, three years. Whether it's now or in the past, we've been consistent with this. It is to help the administration. It is to help improve the civil service. So when we say we want to debate those reports, it's to look at these recommendations and ensure that they are implemented. It is not just to be a but the chairman for the public account committee at the Salon Parliament, Honorable Singapore Solomon Thomas, say the Auditor General in recommendation them, not just opinion them. So Parliament, not for just debate them, but for allow force for make the public account committee look inside the real issue them. That the Auditor General reports we not settle yet and later Parliament will debate them. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, audit reports are opinions. They are no facts. 
as the case is. They are mere opinions of the Auditor General. And as a, as a matter of fact, and as a matter of fact, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, you cannot, you cannot debate an opinion of the Auditor General. You cannot debate a mere opinion. That is all the more reason why these standing orders are clear to the effect that the Public Accounts Committee should look into the very Auditor General's report before they are debated. It is only when we look at the issues raised by the Auditor General, that is when the recommendations or the issues raised in that report can be right, Mr. Speaker. It's fine for make people understand, see, from where this fifth parliament starts, he don't receive the Auditor General reports them of 2016 and 17, but not ever debates them at the well of parliament. We don't make plenty of people wonder why this not happen yet and are willing this parliament day for fed corruption when a one of President Julius Madabio in main priority them. But as all is to be, the leader of the NGC party at the Salon Parliament, Honorable Dr. Kande Koleyum Kela, don't send in letter to parliament for make MP them debate the Auditor General report we don't meet this fifth parliament for more than start inside 2018. For Salon Parliament, I on Gla TV online, Mina Abulai Gla the report.